Okay, all these friends, my name is William, and today, today I'm going to read another part of the Bible. Today I'm going to read Leviticus chapter 14. Okay. okay. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This shall be a law of the, leap, uh, the leper in my day, and the cleansing, it shall be brought into the priest. The priest shall be go forth out of the camp, and the priest shall look behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed in the leper, and the priest shall the priest command to take him for to be cleansed and two birds alive and clean. Okay. And cedar wood and scarlet and I don't know what that word is. Let me Google that. His up. Fine. So it's guarded in his sip. And the priest shall come in in one of the birds and be killed in their vessel over running water. And as for the birds shall take it as cedar wood and scarlet and the hesif and the hyssop, and it shall dip in the living bird and the blood of the bird and it and was killed for running water, and it shall sprinkle upon him, and it has to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall renounce him clean, and it shall let the living bird loose into into the open field. And he and then that is to be cleansed, shall wash his clothes and shall shave all of his hair and wash himself in water, and that must be clean. And, and after that shall be into the camp, and then shall tarry aboard abroad with this in his tent seven days, and a, and it shall be in tent in the seventh day, and it shall be and of all of his hair in his head I mean, uh, on his beard of his head and his beard in his eyebrows. And even the hair shall be shaved off, and he shave, and he shall wash his clothes, and he shall wash his flesh in water, and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take two lamps without blemish, and one ewe lamb, one ewe lamb of the first. Year without blemish, and three tent deals, and find four of the meat, offering mingle with oil, and one long of oil. And the priest shall make him clean, and shall be present with the man, and made him clean, and those things before the Lord, and at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And we should take one lamb, and all of a red trespass offering, and a long of oil, and weigh them of a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall slay with the lamb in the place, where he shall kill the sin offering, and the burnt offering, and the holy place. As for the sin offering, and the priest trespass offering in the most holy. And the priest shall take a, the blood of the trespass offering, and the priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him, and it is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall take the log of oil and pour. On to, pour it into the palm of his left hand. And he shall dip in his right finger in the oil, 
that is in his left hand. This looks like a royal, and this finger seven times before the Lord. The rest of the oil that is in his hand shall be priest put upon the tip of the right ear of him, and, and, that, and, and that is to be cleansed upon one thumb of the, of the right hand on the great toe of his right foot upon the brunt of the trespass offering. And the raiment of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall pour, pour upon the head of him, it is to be cleansed in the priest. Should we atonement for him before the Lord? The priest shall, and the priest offered the sin offering, and it make an atonement for him. He needs to be cleansed for its uncleanness. And after he shall, in the afterward he shall kill the burnt offering. In the priest, the burnt offering and the meat offering on the altar. And it shall make atonement for him, and it shall be clean. And if he be the poor, he cannot get so much. And he shall take one of the trespass and offer him to be waived to make an atonement for him. One tenth deal and one five more mingled oil for a meat offering a log of oil. And two turtle doves and two young pigeons. And, it, and he is able to get, he shall be the sin offering and then the burnt offering. And he shall be bring them on the eighth day of the cleansing. And the priest of the tabernacle in the congregation for the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering and the long of oil, and the priest shall wave for the wave offering before the Lord. Okay. And the priest shall kill the lamb and the, and the trespass offering. And the priest shall take of the blood of the trespass offering and put upon the tip of the right ear of him is to be cleansed. And the, upon the thumb of, this, of his right hand upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour of the oil of the palm of his own left hand. And the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger in some of the oil, that is in the left hand, seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put the oil in his hand upon the tip of the right ear of him, and that is to be cleansed upon the thumb of his right hand, upon the great toe of his right foot, upon the place of the blood and the trespass offering. And the rest oil that is in the priest's hand, he shall put upon the hand of, of him is to be cleansed to make atonement before the Lord. He shall over the one of the turtle doves and one of the young pigeons he sh has he again get. Even he is able to get the one of her to sin for a sin offering again. Another for a burnt offering, another the meat offering, and the priest showing a atonement for him that is to be cleansed for the Lord. And that is a law of him whom the plague of the leprosy, whose hand is not able to be winch pertaineth of his cleansing. The Lord speak unto Moses and uh, unto Aaron, saying, When he become the line of Canaan, which I gave you, for possession, and for a plague of ever seen the house of the land of procession, and that only the house then shall be told to the priest, saying, Esteem of the dead to me, and it is to be plague of the house, and it shall command of the empty of the house. Before you, I priest, it shall be a plague that is in the house that did made unclean, after the priest shall be going to the see the house.
You should look on the plague and behold it. The plague, the walls of the house, the hollow streaks, greenish and reddish, and we just straight lower in the wall. You should go out of the house the door, and the house should be should be the house seven days. Please should go on seven days and then shall look and behold that you got the spirit of the walls of the house. We shall command and take away the, the stones, which the plague is, and then cast them to, in, into an unclean place without the city. It shall be caused the house to be scrapped the round about, and it shall be poor from the dead of the scrape off without the city of an unclean place. to be it shall be caused the house to be scraped within the round about the pour out the dust of the and then they scrape off without the city of the unclean place. And it shall be take other stones and take the place of re stone. It shall be dig of mortar and it shall be plastered up the house. And it shall be and if the plague come again, the break of the house and he take away the stones and have the health scrape the house. And after that it is plastered. And the priest shall come and look and behold of the plague spread in the house and fitting uh, in a fettering leprosy in the house, it is unclean. And it shall be and it shall break down the house and stones of it, and the temper thereof, and the mortar of the house, and shall carry the fort without the city of the unclean place. Moreover, when he goeth into the house all the while it is shut up, and it shall be unclean until the even. And he that lieth in the house shall wash his clothes, and he, if he did in the house, shall wash his clothes, and he shall be coming in and look upon it, behold. And the plague shall not have spread in the house, and the house that was plastered, and they pronounce him clean, because the plague is healed. And it shall be placed in the house two birds, and cedar wood, and scarred of the hyssop. And it shall kill the birds in the vessel of running water. And it shall take of the cedar wood and the hyssop of the scarlet of the living bird, the tip of the slain of the bird of the running water seven times. And he shall cleanse of the house of the blood of the bird, the running water with the, with the living bird and the cedar wood, and the hyssop of the scarlet. And he shall go living bird without the city of the open. Fields, and the tone of the houses shall be clean. And this is a law for the matter of the plague of leprosy and scale. For the be of the garment of the house, from a rising of a scab of the right bright spot. Teach when it's unclean, and when it is clean, this is the law of leprosy. Okay, so this is the ending of Leviticus chapter 14. Next video will be Leviticus chapter 15. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I have to go right now, but thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you there. Bye.